in the stream link. What's up, everyone? Welcome to another Tuesday stream. Uh, like last week, I'm playing Bravo in Classic Instructed, but more interestingly is the deck that Steven is playing. So Would you true. like to tell us about this spicy, spicy sauce? So true. Um, <clears throat> Weather Vane. Eisenhower, Weather Vane, and attempting to get the value off of just everything else that uh, Icelander cares about Frostbites. Yes. Icelander only gives Frostbite kind of as an extra thing right now with the with the with the decks. This one is trying to take advantage of the Frostbite creation to not only slow down your opponents, but also to use them to great effect for additional damage with a few extra cards like Freezing Point and or Ice Eternal. It's usually how we're gonna like win the game here with like big arcane damage attacks. Yeah, and if you look in the description of the video, <clears throat> there's a link to the Waning Mooner on YouTube. It's mm -hmm. another channel who's been uh, posting a bunch of videos about this uh, this With Icelander also, list, and yeah. they have an entire guide on it, I think, as well. Um, so definitely check that out. That's where this list comes from. I think they're pretty active on the Wizard channel as well, on the Icelander channel and the main Discord. So thank you to them for the list. Yep, not to mince words. They are the pioneer of the deck. Uh, they definitely are the ones that created it and have put on some serious numbers in the February link. If you if, did, you put the link in the description as well. The, the of the deck. Uh, I did not put the February link in. I just put the YouTube channel in there for now. Okay, they should have the February link if you just uh, if you post it real quick. Um, it has some insane author results numbers. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty good. Okay, just pulling this up here. Is encasing the list? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ethnic Hello, Smoke. Martin, Ethnic Smoke, and Joshua. Missouri, Maine, now Pog. Ethnic Smoke, and Joshua. There we go. <laughs> nice echo. Nice echo. No, I was just loading it up on my phone. Yes, encasing the list. It's my hey, waiting winner. Hello. What's up? Thanks for joining. At least it is your list. Thank you so much for. Yeah, I'm. We're, I'm gonna try it out, and I'm probably gonna make it look bad, but um. It's going to be real fun. <laughs> and I'm um, probably going to make Bravo look bad because I have not actually played against <laughs> this version of the of Icelander before. So new to both of us should be very interesting and fun. Yep. And I'm just using the Cyborg Guide as well that uh, they posted on the, uh, uh, on the Discord. And it included... It said not to include these cards, but it also said what to include. There's a whole Cyborg thing. It's like pretty well thought out. So I'm just going to go with what seems right. I understand Brain Freeze doesn't do anything to Bravo matchup. Expose is probably not necessary because there's nothing that we want to remove from the Bravo opponent that is critical. This seems to be a Dromai thing, the final fighting spirit. Uh, and then two hyperthermias in the, in the, against Bravo because they can do some go against shenanigans. Uh, but if you get it at the wrong time, it just feels bad and it's blocked too. Same with uh, two copies of Weatherbane in there instead of all three. And then Arting Incarceration, just to get them a little bit. Because, as Jacob said earlier, two Frostbites, uh, worse than one. Yeah. Twice as worse. Twice as bad. Your camera is frozen. <laughs> Pog. That's no biggie. All I have Pog. to do is ruin... All I have to do is ruin the thing. But you can you can talk about but, your stuff. Yeah, yeah. my sideboard for Icelander in general, I take out Spinals. Um, <clears throat> I, I don't know if that's correct or not, because it's still a big, chunky attack. But I put choke slams in instead. I only have the I have one out right now because I have some weird ratios in my deck. Um, and then I take out sink blows. I'm also a little bit back and forth on whether I should run pulverize versus Icelander or not. Maybe when going first, it's okay to run one of them, but it seems like kind of a liability otherwise. And then I think Command and Conquer is good when uh you know you C and C pummel them and you got lucky and they have like an attack or a D react in their arsenal. But other than that, it's just like a low damage, bad rate attack. So <laughs> I've been taking them out recently. And then I have out muscle in this list still currently as well. And uh, Zealous Belting and everything. So perfect. Pretty. No, I, don't... I feel generally like 50 50 versus Iceliner, just depending on how good you can race them early. But other than that, uh, still kind of figuring out what's better. Hey, Waning Mooner, of course. you you. This deck is insane, and it's awesome to feature it. And also, thank you for being a fan. Yeah, thank you very much. You're all two sixes. 
Yes, I did roll two sixes. <laughs> Get out. That's fine. I didn't even know if I wanted to go first or you second. You tried to put that one onto my side of the board to trick me? No, I rolled seven. <laughs> uh, I will go first, yeah. but we'll just alternate, of course. Yep, yep. Luckily, we might be like the last people left playing on TTS. But uh, <laughs> I remember my tuna counter because I play on TTS. But uh, all these Talishar people, they're going to be forgetting their tuna counters during ProQuest Weekend 1. <laughs> True. Let me take four extra damage here. Uh, is your video back up yet? Oh, there it is. Yes, it is. It should be. <laughs> okay. Let us know if it if it um if it come, like goes out again. I just have to fix some camera stuff at some point in my life here. Silly webcams. Silly um, webcams. And the card preview and everything looks good. All right, I have right. a good start. I'm going to Ooh. make. Uh, wait, I cannot make a seismic. Mm -hmm. That's hilarious. I'm just gonna, <laughs> Lot, yeah. Nice. I'm just gonna pitch. Sorry for the. Let me fix my camera. <laughs> I'm just gonna heave a thunderquake under pitching the crippling crush at the end of turn. Last week I got mega punished. Uh, <laughs> was that last week? Yeah, I think it was last week on stream. I heaved something, but I kept a red in hand, and then I drew into two more reds, and it was just a bad day. So we're just gonna do this yep. and pass. Yep. Um. I can do a lot of things here and very likely take advantage of your situation. So, hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and play Nourishing Emptiness. Let me put that <laughs> nourishing over here. Nourishing Emptiness? First turn Nourishing. Um, probably going to, I'm not sure if it's correct, but I'm just going to over pitch. Pitching a encase and a frosting. Yes. So technically, because you had to pitch like this, uh, this is not really a value play for you because you're using three cards to do six damage and you're mm -hmm. gaining one int back, which is just uh, it's like regaining no the underpitched card. So I don't have to worry about... I could technically block this with an unmovable from hands, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to block three here. Sure. Maybe we'll take three. Yep. Oh, Arsenal. But of course, you having uh, more cards in hand is probably... And more Very filtering good. for your Frost Xs is still value, even though the yep. EV damage is kind of similar. I'm going yes. to respond to that. I will Tunic to two first, but would you like to respond to this? Yes, it's Channel Lake Bridger. <clears throat> to maybe <laughs> punish you for uh, that pickup. Uh, let's see. I, I got Frost a lot of good stuff there. here. So I probably want to keep one card in hand only then i'm probably going to block pretty aggressively here or not block pretty aggressively but this hand overall is not aggressive so um yeah probably going to do this this and this block like this and then pitch this and arsenal this well my opponent won't be able to play that out effectively either so difficult already. I have, I have too many choices. Are you still holding priority on if you want a waning moon or something? Nope. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what to oh, pitch. Oh, what you're going to pitch. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. yeah, so That's from right. my point of view, I have an okay arsenal target in this card. Target. But since opponent has so many cards in hand, I kind of want to punish with dominate. And I can technically afford dominate because Thunderquake only costs me three uh, four with the channel lake so dominate is going to cost me four resources and hopefully i don't get blown out uh <laughs> by another tax but i don't think there's a way i can but yeah i'm gonna do do this anything while the frostbite breaking is on the stack <laughs> that is a good question sounds like you're activating dominate okay yeah so with that scenario do i take this 10 to <clears throat> do something really annoying to you I know you have these uh, things that care about frost frostbites in your deck, so I'm just giving you the mm -hmm. excuse to waste your storm striders this early. <laughs> I know you're not going to though. <laughs> true, true, true. No, that's fine. I might be taking ten here. Okay, frostbite's gone. I will pay four for thunderquake, and I will have one floating. Yep. So ten dominate. Awesome. Use. Three and two. Yeah. I'm just going to block with the gauntlet. Use the, the the resource here. 
Okay. And I'm probably going to keep this. <coughs> yep. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Alrighty. So let's see. Let's see if that was correct. Uh, on my turn, I'm going to Weather Rain. Already it's starting out strong. Uh, pitching. I'm probably going to keep this, and I'm, you're probably not going to be able to do anything. So the correct thing to do is pitch this, and then I'm going to fuse this Ice Eternal. X equals zero, but Weather Bane will trigger, and you'll get three okay. Frostbite tokens. Um, I'm sorry, Wayne Mooner, for using this deck incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So I have not very amazing options. I drew a few too many reds. Um, I think I'm actually going to respond to the Frostbites by casting Sigil before those resolve. Sure. Um, and then I'm going to pay one for <laughs> the Arcane on Ice Eternal. Take two? And take two, yeah. And then what about this winning one for two? I'll take two as well. Yep. Um, Joshua, I did see the Royal Bravo from We Make Best. I'm a very big fan of their channel. It is an interesting, <laughs> very interesting deck. Both of those games were quite uh, <laughs> quite convincing as far as the strength of the deck goes, but I do wonder about its consistency. <laughs> oh, you're right. I We're back to the yeah. original days of Icelander. I did not pay. Yeah. All right, I'm going to do this. Because of you have channel out, I'm going to pay oh. one for Sigil, and I'm going to take one more damage to the Arcane. Sure. Thanks for the call out. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm the most... Uh, I'm the most notorious tax evader on YouTube, actually. You guys didn't know. <laughs> uh, tuning to three, I'm going to pass to the end of my turn. Okay, do I want to play this and give you a little bit of extra damage by pitching this? I still have three Frostbites, by the way. Uh, I wish I could take advantage of that. Both of these are kind of the same thing. And I kind of wish, wish that... I can punish you. I just gave you some damage. It just took 10 to like stop you from playing the game for a little bit, which I'm going to keep doing, so that's okay. Yep, you can, you, you can Arsenal Pass. So okay, I'm, I'm going to Heave, which is not taxed because it's a trigger. Correct. Yeah, so I get three Seismics, and I'll pass to you, and these Frostbites sure. will break. <laughs> Dang it, these TTS. <laughs> Tunic to three. Yeah. How would you feel about an Aether Ice Vade, though? Pitching. How would I feel about it? Not not great, to be honest. Using. Revealing an Amulet of Ice. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm going to pay one and take three. Mm -hmm. And then use my two floating to pay for the Ice Vane effect. Sure, what about this waning moon for uh gonna... actually I'm gonna do this. What about this waning moon for two? I will take two. Sure. Channel will stay out. Sure. <laughs> okay. Yes. I will give you responding yes. my seismics. Um so that took a card. The other one takes a card as well, but I wonder if it was better to do more damage. So this will cost you. This will cost you th three. If I give you two tax, it'll cost you five. You could probably just pay for it all willy nilly. All willy nilly um, is indeed true. So. Hmm. <clears throat> we don't have a good way to deal you a bunch of damage unfortunately I wish I did this Arctic Crusher I think I'm going to take 10 again just to keep the parity <laughs> here uh, go ahead okay Um. yeah I can't really dominate it this time because of tax being a lot more disruptive mm -hmm. but I think to more efficiently use my hand. Well, I guess you could potentially waiting moon me. I think I'm going to still do this and just hold cards in hand. Sure. 
Because if it you still, still cost four, by the way. Oh you yeah, you, yeah, big true. <clears throat> yeah, no, I'm, I'm. I think this is. I've seen like waning moon or play. It's like seems more aggressive. I'm. I'm gonna take ten, but I don't know. Okay. if that's correct. And then just ending the turn. Yeah. Okay. So I want to keep this card in arsenal, but again, not sure. Not sure. Let's try. <laughs> Let's try. Oh, I wonder if I should do this. Tunic. Four Frosties? That's so many. How about five <clears throat> Frosties? Okay, fusing with Amulet, I am going to have five Frosties. Yeah. Meaning, if I want to Anothos, and it <laughs> costs me eight. That's yeah, so it much. It could be a tough matchup. Yeah. Not, not, um, not with the record I've seen for you. It seems pretty good. So, hmm. but the big attacks are chunky. I'm probably taking too much damage, but that's okay. I'm still trying to figure out the legs of this deck. I'm like, I can play Weather Vane and activate it. Better keep my hand. I will let the four Frostbites resolve. Sure. Uh, so I have those. Have this. Yep. Correct. And then I'm going to make what potentially could be a mistake mm -hmm. and pitch six resources to remove my tunic counter. Sure. I'll respond to the tunic counter. Yeah, to go ahead. Um, so I'm going to pay two for Waning Moon and then my tunic counter will resolve. Frostbites will be gone. And then I will pay one resource. Or polar cap and take three damage and get one frostbite. Correct the mundo. And then <clears> channel's <throat> gone. Oh my god. I'm I messed up and didn't pay the extra channel tax. I should take one more damage. Oh uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> right, right, right. For the tunic. <laughs> for the tunic. Okay. <laughs> value. The most value uh, tunic in the world. With my turn, I will be hammering for six, paying okay. four resources. Anything while the Frostbite resolves, Not or before really. it breaks. This card in my in my arsenal has been a little annoying. Life but totals are high enough me. still that I felt okay using the tunic counter to get an extra life there, uh, to break yeah. those frostbites. But maybe it wasn't worth it because of the channeling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Could have just paid for them on my turn. The only thing is, clearing frostbites before you go into your turn is relevant, I guess, if you want to make a big freezing point play. But that requires a uh, strider, so you're unlikely to do that this early. One, two, three. Oh, I, I think guess I'm gonna take this opportunity to set up a little bit, to set up some disruption, okay. and then hopefully never take damage again. So it's gonna be amulet of ice, insidious chill, pass. Ooh, nice. So if you have a fuse card in your arsenal, I'm in trouble. My brother in Christ, you know two? what it is. Oh, I do. Why? I fused, you fused, I fused with, with, with this a billion years ago. I Yikers. I've been keeping it in my arsenal. I don't know if you've been like playing around it, but I guess it's just for gore. <laughs> I just definitely forgot. for gore. Uh, we're going to do this and have two floating. Interesting. I mean, if Maybe. I technically know you have a double tax in arsenal, then there's no reason to try to risk dominating. Six, nine... Yeah, I feel like this fun. deck maybe doesn't function well off of low cards in hand. But I guess you always have Coronet Peak. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I will be peeking you on my turn. Um, I'll discard. Oh my god. Okay, let's see if we can get there. Tunic to three. Problem is my opponent knows exactly what I have. <laughs> I'm going to choke slam with two floating. Yeah, I'm going to do this so you don't pummel okay. at me. That is good. Um, so again, it's definitely a pummel threat here. I cannot pummel you because of yeah, like for the extra like two for the oh, like for, for future, future turns. I mean. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. So it's gonna be pretty tough to kind of like get around this, but it's gonna be like a multi-turn sequence, and I'm gonna take a lot of damage here. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, e pot, arsenal pass. Okay, let's see. Now I, <laughs> I don't want to take damage. 
Uh, I would like to cast Crippling Crush. Okay. I was going to say Dominate, but I, again, I feel like that's too risky, especially now that you have such a big board state. If I Dominate and then just have to hammer for six and <clears> leave <throat> the Crippling in Arsenal and just get Chain Disrupted for the rest of the game, that's like a scenario I don't want to find myself in. Yeah. So I think I just have to give the hand here. Um, I don't have... This is not a good opportunity to... I was going to have... If you didn't have anything disruptive, I was going to have a good turn where I was going to, like... I, w I was going to take a bunch of damage just to send, like, Weathervane, like... Oh, can I... I couldn't even do it, actually. Never mind. Yeah, you don't have enough equipment. I. Oh, yeah, I was going to, like, Weathervane, maybe Freezing Point, something, but... 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so I'll just take one. Okay. So I'm in a bit of a threat here, Personal but... Personal pass. I'll just draw. Okay. Oakley, schmokely. Hmm. I will rouse, revealing a zealous and cranial crush. This isn't the best yeah. because my hammer will get disrupted, potentially, but it's still damage. So I think it's okay. Yeah. Especially because your life total is so much lower than mine right now. I have no frost axes. <laughs> yep. Fortunately, I'm going to be in the same situation, but you're going to like threaten. You could threaten. Well, you can't send the, the cranial crush, so that's kind of nice. So I kind of want to try and take a turn here so I can give this card. Or I can give this card. And then I can kind of do this. Ideally, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh, I guess I could give this card and this card and this card. Yeah, and I'm, I guess I'm going to try to... I am once again going to try to survive. I'll take four here. I'm going to pummel this because it forces you to have a sink or else death. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. Go next. Okay. This is so bad. Yeah, I had I actually had a lot of damage with the, the th those thunderquakes early were quite potent. I think. Yeah, they they, they had to be those. Or... Help me pay through those taxes. Otherwise, you actually your disruption would have been a lot more annoying for me. Yes, unfortunately, didn't get that opportunity um, because of the big damage. I have an extra card in here, probably iron hide, but oh well. Bro, I'm the biggest red I, thunderquake I enjoyer damage. that exists. <laughs> I ran that card yep. since Nats. Treated yeah, me Thunder well back mistake. then. Thunder Quake was a mistake, so it's okay. Should add yellows, to be honest. <laughs> Nine damage off six? Woo! <laughs> That's almost as good as... It's like Spinal I... Crush, but it costs <laughs> one more, but it pitches for one more as well. So true. Uh, Alright, you'll be going go first this time. Sounds good. Yeah. This is the most insane opener... Oh no, now you're gonna have Insidious or Frost X or something? No, I have that, that, and <clears throat> Frost Hex. Nani? Wait, how, what? No, this doesn't <laughs> I'm not gonna play go it again. Now. I know, oh, I'm you're... not playing it yet, <laughs> oh, but I'm geez. saying I have it all. Okay. I will be doing this, hoping that you don't have one of your double taxes, even though I technically know that your arsenal is a Frost X. Yep. Um, so it doesn't matter if I tax you here or not. So the, the situation now becomes sending this attack at you, arsenaling this. I am once again taking a bunch of damage. <laughs> yep. Taking five? Sure. And then uh, hamburger for six? Yep. One, two, three, four, then five, I'll, six. Then uh, I'll arsenal five. pass. Oh, okay. We'll play the frost X at instant speed, sure. which doesn't matter too much, but I just yeah. need to just get it out. I have the one floating, so I'll pay for the arcane. Technically, playing the frost X before the hammer matters by one point of damage. Because I wouldn't sure. have had the one floating for the arcane. True. Here's nourishing. Pretty good. Uh. Now that's a start. Yes, thank you, thank you. I'll... Well... What are my options? I could potentially save the Thunderquake to just heave it in case you tax me. 
But I'm just gonna hope that you don't have a double tax in Arsenal. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna take three. Uh, tunic to two. I will mm -hmm. zealous belting again for five go again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I get to block with an extra card in my hand, <clears throat> and then I can go. Or can I block with two cards in my hand? Let me see. I wonder if I'm supposed to actually just save the Thunderquake anyways and try to race this deck because it's like you can already tell that it's uh from the weather veins you can tell that you're going more for this frost x game plan i think so maybe i'm supposed to just race your life down and not worry about blocking compared to like the wounded bull list yep uh yep i'll block five okay value nourishing that much else yep, you're not you're not uh taxing me nope okay Six. Yep, nineteen. Okay, now I do nothing. What? I tunic. Now you are you. you now you do. Now nothing. I do nothing. <laughs> Weather vane. Fuse. Insidious chill trigger. Fuse with another frost axe. Yeah. Um. Okay. So. <clears throat> and I'm gonna be getting three frost bites. So if I can save two blues. For my turn. I can do something. It looks like I cannot. Because if you uh, get a whiff of the fact that I'm trying to save cards, you're just going to amulet of ice me. <laughs> um, but I actually should have actually see. potentially should have not blocked two there and just used it to moan. Because two of your life might be more important than two of my life. It's, it's two life either way. Maybe. Um, Grace or you could have blocked three, three with Frostex and Arsenal to Eisenhow. No, we want Frostex. <laughs> Dang. Especially after disrupting you okay. here, I'm going to give you three Frostbites. Yeah, I'm going to discard. Um, to Insidious? Okay. Yep. And then... And this will resolve. Yep, so I have three Frostbites. I'm going to pay for one Arcane, take mm -hmm. four, and then pay two. Yep. Enjoy. Dang, did not think you were going to do it. <laughs> Yeah. No, one of the things I'll that Waiting Winner did was just aggressively amulet of ice. It was quite astonishing. Yeah, I noticed that as well when I watched how often that happened. Okay. Um, my tuning goes to three. I'm gonna pass to the end of the turn. Yeah, you will. Yeah, you will. Um, this is an awkward hand. But I do get to play another Frost X at you, and I'm gonna like present six damage, which is gonna be kind of, kind of pog. Uh, what an awkward hand! What an awkward, awkward hand! I think we, wow, so unfortunate. A little unfortunate. <laughs> Too many reds or something. Something like that. Hmm. Yeah, too many reds. So I'm I'm definitely playing oh. this frost hex. Just I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do it. Okay. Um, yeah. So while well, you think about that, I have two options. Either before the before the Icelander ability frostbite resolves, I can pay three into tunic and stop six damage, mm -hmm. and I will take two or I'll take one at the end of the turn because my tunic floating will stop one of the other frostbite damage from frost hex. Um, and that means my tunic counter is worth four points of life because otherwise I can just pitch a blue. Hello, I got one. Stop three. Or no, five points of life, I think. But I think it's better to just pitch my blue to stop three and take three and use my tunic counter for a future turn to try to pressure. Yeah, I think <clears throat> we're going to go like this very sadly. Yeah, so. But this I'm, actually goes to four, so this is eight total. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I was just saying I could respond before the Icelander Frostbite and, and yeah. break at least the first three. But I'm going to go to the end and pay three and take oh, five. I should probably also do this. I know what I'm going to do. This is going to be the super awkward. It's going to be red, red, yellow. Oh, no. Yeah. And then I'm, my turn's just going to tunic Arsenal Pass. Okay. I took my five damage. Yeah. Um, well, that's really bad because I needed those combo pieces so maybe it was incorrect but we'll see we'll send out muscle 
And it's clear that you're not running wounded bulls and stuff, so this is probably going to have go again, but it's probably going to get taxed as well. So we'll see. True. If true, I get true, to actually true, true. swing hammer. Mm. Hello, Agawan channel. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if I can I can do anything here. If this was a pitch card, it would have been kind of nice. But now I can just kind of play it and then Arsenal maybe this. Maybe the play is to just go for. Maybe do some damage. And get you off an Arsenal piece. This is tough because you're, you're that a muscle tech really hurts. Yeah, it's a lot of damage. Oh. Huh. But this also doesn't stop this. Dude, hypothermia is so much better against you. <laughs> yeah, when I'm running three zealous, three out muscle, three rouse, uh, hypothermia does get better. Yep. Mr. Weasley is very sleepy today. He's sleepy most days, to be honest. Hmm. Either that or like do that on my turn and then maybe... I'll try and do it on my turn. I'll try and do it on my turn, see if it works. Uh, ugh. Block three. Okay. Any reactions? No. Hammer for six. Yep, ten, ten. Okay, I'm going to sigil. Okay. And then that arsenal is. pass. Tunic to two. Polar cap. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much. <clears throat> Fusing with Channel Lake. Fusing with a Channel Lake. Insidious Chill trigger. For the Insidious Chill, I will... Pay two. Sure. And then I will pay for one Arcane from Polar Cap and take three. And then Money Moon. And then take two more. Right. Now I have. Oh yeah, just the one frostbite. <clears throat> just the one frostbite. Yeah. Let's okay. see here. I'm gonna pay five for choke slam. Have one floating. So <laughs> difficult. Frostbite is on this stack. So true. So true. <laughs> uh, eight. Do we go to two? This is so, this is so <laughs> difficult. It's so difficult to play this deck. It looks, looks like so intricate. Like that, you have so many more I decisions. In the in the in the wounded bull version, you're just like, hmm, my math is better uh, every turn. So I just have one decision, which is to do the better math play every turn, which is to send in my attack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely taking too much damage. I just need to maybe I'll, I'll slow down for the other game. And this with two frost hacks down, this is probably a perfect game to try and slow down, um, and just yeah. try to come up with something. But I was also very afraid of you dominating a bunch of attacks. Um, it's fair. If I'm just sending arcane at you, you're just gonna get to pick and choose when you dominate attacks. With all of your double taxes in the deck, though, you might be able to save them to try to punish me on dominate turns. Fair. Because the deck is so aggressive now that I almost never have a four blue hand. I mean, it's not like it's not like it's rare. I have it every once in a while, but it's not like every turn. I have so many choices. I have way too many choices. Decisions. Decisions, decisions. This gives you this does give you a lot of damage. Um as well and i can block a little bit and then i can send something at you and then i can disrupt you and then i can block a little bit hmm and then i can disrupt you <laughs> again <laughs> maybe yeah i i'm definitely not real burst um I'm gonna keep going with the aggressive play. I don't mean to take away from the complexity of the wounded bull version of Icelander, by the way. <laughs> it just seems like this is definitely more complex. 
Uh, I'm gonna X equals one this. Okay, so taking advantage of the frostbite on the stack makes mm -hmm. sense. And then um, Insidious Chill actually does trigger. Interesting. The last pick. So I'm gonna get double taxed. But so the Insidious Chill, are you able to order the Insidious Chill trigger underneath the Ice Liner trigger? Like, can you? Nope. Oh, wait, no, there's no Ice Liner trigger, anyways, because of. Ice Eternal is not yes. an ice card. Correct. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pay one for Sigil in response to the Insidious Chill trigger, which is Ooh, gonna send a frostbite. second frostbite break <laughs> trigger. <laughs> so I was double taxed by it, but I at least do break it before the Ice Eternal resolves. Yeah. Just worth something. But uh I That's will gain three life. This is gonna actually break. And then yeah. Ice Eternal will resolve. I will get one back and I will take one damage. Does this check, check out? One damage. I'll take six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then nothing else from me. So you'll take two. Yes. Two frost text damage. Two frost text damage. Uh, so let's try Ice Bane. Uh, you have a Channel Lake Frigid and Arsenal. Or you're going yes. to Arsenal, I'd rather. That's the plan. Um, I would have liked to keep this four-card hand. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. Uh, that's okay. I'm going I to... Damage, <clears throat> Channel Lake, do I care about you? I'll pay three. Or no, sorry. I'll pay one. Mm -hmm. And then take four, and then pay the two tax with the two floating. That sounds good. On my turn, sadly, I will just be hammering for four. I can't really commit to hammer for six by using Bravo's ability because I know that the double tax is there, and I would like to arsenal one of the cards in my hand. Yeah. And, uh, otherwise, I can just pitch <coughs> for Arcane. The Bravo to Bravo ability. <clears throat> but yeah, this is just for four. Yep. Just think thonk in here. Cause I can't really do everything. I just I just need to keep taking damage to keep all these cards in my hand, which is the sag sag part. Feels like this deck has a lot uh, more two blocks in it as well. I don't know if that's true or not. I think it's true. The weather veins are two blocks, and Arctic <laughs> Incarceration is a two block as well, right? Yeah. Yes. Oh, but you're not running all of those. Hmm. Can you run triple expose and de delete all three of my uh, <laughs> null rune equipment? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I have to <clears throat> channel lake. And then moon for three. You should moon after the combat chain, right? Because moon will turn my uh, hammer after, into at six. At least after... You're right, you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. So, channel lake. Unless you want to, like, do a pummel check. I guess Moon does check if I have pummel. No, it's still it's still fine. Because I still want to block it, like but... this. I mean, I, I, I'm dying to pummel no matter what. I think. Okay. Like, I, I just need to keep so much cards in my hand. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I have no reactions to any of the this business. Take two. And I will pay for the arcane. No oh, no, you're going to wound. Yeah, that's fine. Um, my life total is still high enough that I kind of want to hold on to my tunic counter. <laughs> so I'm gonna pay three for the moon and then take two two arcane two frostbite damage. Sure. <laughs> so what we're gonna try is this polar cap play. Revealing a or weather arcane. vein. Yeah, unfortunately. So it's a yellow. So you know everything. If he plays ELF before blocks, Anathos is just lethal with Tunic unless he gives cards. Uh, yeah, that's true. I I did notice I could remove, I could pay for my Tunic counter uh, to get the second six into my pitch, but he could just block accordingly and then um, 
Technically, yeah, you could have right. just given Tunic and kept the same amount of cards, and then I wouldn't have my Tunic counter, which I don't like. <laughs> um, okay. So true. So I'm going to end up with an Without Arcane. Without call out. <laughs> I mean, a Frostbite. If you pitch into Waning Moon, your Channel Lake will stay around. It's already staying around because of either. Uh, oh, that's right. You just played it last turn. During your turn. Oh, the choice to tunic during reactions. <laughs> That's a good point. I could have tunicked during reactions. I could have tunicked during reactions and actually killed you because you didn't block enough. <laughs> uh, that's true. We both missed that one. Jeez. I just give that's I fine. give my whole uh, spiel about how I thought about it, and it turns out I did not actually think about that part of it. That um, four card hand was worth four frostbites. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I thought that I could just block with it, use tunic. I see what you mean. Play Tunic, Eisenhow, Polar Cap, instead of playing Channel Lake Frigid. I'm with you there. I'm with you there. I'm seeing it now. Um, four Frostbites is a lot more annoying than playing Channel Lake. And four Frostbites is a lot of damage during with your Frost Hex. And then all I have to do is draw like one of the one of the kill cards, and that would be pretty good. But I put Pitch 2 to the bottom very early. Um, but yes. Take that's just four my kind here. of inexperience with the deck there. I think I am very dead because of that. It'll take a little bit of getting used to to see what like is the best sequence. I'm gonna choke slam, paying five. No, I have to pay six for this. Uh, yes. Let me. Yeah, that's fine. I'll I'll pay for it like this. I think. Yep. So I'm the kind of in the frostbite is on the stack. Boat. Yeah, I'm kind of in the same boat, and now I have that. So I think I just lose because of that like little sequence there. Um, three, four, five, six, seven. You can still pay three for pummel. <clears throat> That's funny. So the frostbite's gone. I could technically do that, yes, but yes, I will I have no attack reactions though. Sure, I'll take one. Anything before the end of my turn? No. You saw it was a yellow. That's true. I just drew an e pot. So. Yeah, so that, that, that sequence there was really important. Definitely giving you four frostbite just like saves me much more life than not. So that's all right. That's all right. Thank you for being in the chat and like noticing. But it's just it's just a hard deck to play. Uh, not understanding how the pieces fit. I used to play a more combo deck like this, but I had um I had freaking uh Sigil of Permafrost, which is fun. Since I know your arsenal is a yellow, mm -hmm. you can technically not tax me without Striders this turn, but I'm still going to play it safe on this. <laughs> Have you ever done videos on the top heroes and identifying key cards and lines of play, etc.? <coughs> um... We don't have any like generic videos like that. The thing, the content that we like to make the most is um, like overarching game concept videos where we talk about like pitch stacking or counting turn cycle math, um, opponent overblocking me by. No. Uh, oh, you don't have enough. To finish. No, 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 I do. I do. But I was just waiting okay. for you to finish but, talking. Yeah. Um, we don't have any like that many hero specific videos. Every once in a while we'll have like a teammate or a friend do well at like a event and we'll feature their deck list. So we've posted like Prism, Starvo back during that meta. We have a really interesting uh, good Reinar video from a couple metas ago. Um, yes, but do. yeah. But nothing to hero specific. We yeah. we particularly don't like top heroes things, I think. We do like t there was a moment where we put a few tier lists out, which were kind of funny. Uh, we think we think those <laughs> yeah, are tier funny, lists but are a good. More jokey, uh, a little more jokey, especially the fabled tier list video. But yeah, um, I'm just gonna concede here, just for the sake of our testing. I think that turn was too. Uh, th what the heck are you doing? You're BMing me. I'm trying to explain <laughs> a line of. I'm trying to. You're so BM. Uh, <laughs> so. Um, I'm just going to concede. I think that line of play in the middle, as Waning Moon stated, was just not correct. It was just like the sequence there to stop, to get me back into the game had to be not play the Channel Lake Fridge, which feels weird, but that's like, yeah, that's just something that I yeah. need to get used to. That's such a good start, too.
Dang. I just didn't play the, the sequences through the rest of the game correctly. Yeah. I'm going to try and be a little bit more defensive here, see if that works. Try and, and we'll go first. And, and then take damage only when I'm presenting a bunch of frogs. What about decks to play that can attack the meta? <laughs> Gosh, that's just way too broad. I think anybody that tells you, I think anybody that tells you this is the deck that you play for ProQuest because there's going to be a lot of X decks are lying. <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> Nobody can really know. I don't know if it's I, lying. I think you ah. can generally predict like overall trends, but pro quests sure. are so localized that you really do have to just know like what heroes you have. Like you can I think a good thing to know is like if you have a lot of dromize, then just play Fi or if you have uh, a lot of Icelanders, I feel like Fi is pretty good against Icelander as well. <laughs> But like, yeah, but if, if you, you have, have a lot of Islander, play Dromai. <laughs> yeah, if you have a lot of Icelanders, play Dromai. That's true. So yeah. it's really a lot more about like your local meta. And then when it comes to like worlds and stuff, it it, it is everyone coming together, and there's going to be a lot more common trends. But yes. um, yeah, those videos are hard to make and be fully accurate. I would say. Yeah, but I think we can make a generalized video of like. Hey, want to know what to bring to your local armory? Well, what <laughs> have you seen as trends for your local armory? I think those are questions like, do you see a lot of this hero? Just, I think it's just as simply as, do you see a lot of this hero? Play yeah. the counter to that hero. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's super hard. Okay. I will put my tunic counter on one to start the game. Lol. Um. So I have options. I have very interesting options with this hand, actually. Um, I could f just bring Reinar and no one expects it. That's true. I can true. force a full hand block and punish if you have any two blocks. So that is what I'm going to do uh, with this card. And yeah. the subsequent hammer swing, 12 damage on turn one. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's going to hurt a lot more than you think. Okay. And then, yep, I will hammer for six. So My rule for turn one, card? for Bravo specifically, for turn one, if you're thinking about swinging, if you're just swinging hammer, it's not worth it because you can filter cards by pitching to Bravo any number of times. If you are dominating an attack, it depends on how much damage you're going to leak and if you're going to end with an arsenal or not. But if you're able to force this much damage, then you should for sure do it, especially if you keep an arsenal because <laughs> uh, they don't get an option to filter certain cards. They just have to filter all of them or take so much damage. Okay. Or they have no blocks in hand. We'll yeah, they have no blocks in hand. We'll see. Uh, We'll just go amulet. Well, I got to get another good start, so I definitely want to be defensive. Cross okay. hacks. I think pitching that. Arsenal. Pass. Okay. I'll put Tunic on so, two. I think I'll basically just always keep a hand that tries to present a bunch of frostbites to you. If I can, if I can make it work. I will um, hammer for four. So I think the play is you have a bad hand, Lamel. I have an awkward pull hand, pull that's me. for sure. <laughs> you gotta pull me and that's fine. So we're gonna we're gonna play our channel lake by pitching Ooh. another channel. Yes, by pitching another channel lake. Okay. Blocking it's definitely like a pummel or something. So I do have a frostbite. Yeah. I'm blocking like this. Pummel costs me four. So <laughs> I will pay four. <laughs> With a blue and then another One, pummel. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's fine. And then I'll arsenal. And uh, this was broken during the pummel. So, yep. Don't have to so tunic two, peak on my turn. Let's try this. Reinar is actually not on a bad spot either. That's true. And they're, the Rock Reinar is so good. <laughs> yeah, it beats Bravo, apparently. <laughs> yeah, watch <laughs> watch last week's live. One one Rock Reinar win is all I needed to really set me in stone. Okay. Uh, this is a really weird hand. That's what I need you to have. The best damage so I could do, I tunic think. Tunic into this card might be great. We'll see. I'm going to have Tunic next turn, but I think it's a little bit of a waste because it's not enabling anything very amazing. 
Um, so I'm gonna discard this Thunderquake. Well, the, that yeah. And then this is for that. This is for this. This is for this. And then tunic to three. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to. Oh crap! You still have. Ah, uh, you still have Channel Lake. Lake. Why must you do this to me? Okay. Hello? Uh, we'll do this. We'll just pay for hammer, I guess. Okay. Oh, that's so, so bad. How useful is playing my <laughs> arsenal card with this card and then arsenaling something different? I wonder if Waiting Moon is available, but like, I do have an option. What does the chat think? What does the chat think? Um, but it's just very difficult. I could also just block out and play this card and then just wait for another turn for this um uh, i can't save channel lake no matter what but this is like too low value probably so i'll take the opportunity to just do this i think okay does this yes yeah, six yeah i went into my turn with the classic forgetting about channel lake frigid and i was planning to cast that choke slam that we get punished uh wow. okay that's pretty good I was there for the rock. Let's go. I did not respect rock at all whatsoever. <laughs> Classic rock denier over there. Uh, indeed. I'm going to block three and take three here. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Oh! Nani? <laughs> I should just press five. I should just press five. I was trying to be cute about it. Block with your card. Yes, here you go. Take Thank my life. You. And uh, kill your channel lake. Wait, no, wait. I don't want to. I will be starting with a zealous belting. Okay. So, Wayne Mooner thing. suggests to block extra and then just play the e pot and wait. Not a bad play, but I block, play e pot, wait. That's fair. That's fair. Having an e pot no. out seems pretty strong with this list. Yeah, this is the hand that disrupts, and then I can disrupt again, like double disrupt. Like I can do this, and then put this in arsenal, and then do this. So I'm probably gonna block three and three. So if you're gonna hammer, so I'm gonna do this. Oops. Okay, no reactions. Sure. sure. And then the hamburger for six. Yep, and then we do this. Okay. So let's try this. E pot. No. Yes, it's fine. It doesn't matter. But I, maybe I shouldn't play the, the Arsenal. Mod. Weathervane. Ice Vane. Boom. Revealing another red weather vein. Yes. <laughs> okay. What can I do through all of this mess of disruption? Is this the Ice Hunter that uses weather vane with a deep? No. Take damage now. That's a good hand. I, what do you mean? I don't... No! <laughs> no! No! Um, like, is it worth it to just give eight Frostbites? Is that what you said? Just, like, do that and give, like, play both Red Weather Veins? Maybe? No, you could play... I think it could have played Weather Vein, Weather Vein, Weather Vein. You give me eight Frostbites and tax me with Ice Vein, I'm for no, sure I'd not give doing you anything ten. on my turn. <laughs> I'd give you ten frostbites. Yo, <laughs> I think that's what I think that's what they wanted. Just take all this and go. We should roll it back and just do that. So no wait, I, wait, I can't do this. I can't do this. Never mind. I could do eight. I could do eight for sure. If you just take three extra damage and hold the aether hail, right? Yeah. No. Um. Because there's two cards here. Because I pitch this, so I and then I do this. So I need five resources. So I need to hold my whole hand and then hold the Aether Hail or the Weather Bane and give you eight Frostbites plus that. So I need to take six damage. Okay. Counts play two Weather Veins. Yes. You know what? Let's take let's take six damage then. Let's One, do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just for the experimentation. Okay. And let's so... go double red. State of the game is and you have then, played two weather veins and there is an ice vein coming at me now. Oh, and then I keep my tunic. Head. And then I keep my tunic. So I have a <clears throat> a one floating as well. 
and I'm showing you the Aether Hail. Okay. So I am about to get eight, Frosty Boys, and you're going to be arsenaling the Aether Hail. Yes. Um. Do you? I agree. Is they the um? I listen. Oh, you have Amulet of Ice out right now too. True. Do the frostbites happen? They happen one at a time. So you'd get four frostbites. Unfortunately, you get four frostbite first, and then you'd get another set of four frostbites. Okay. So you can play around this, whatever. Um. Then pop amulet immediately. Okay, I'm gonna do it. All right. So the amulet is basically a decision I don't even have to think about. So I will pay two there. Yeah, I was thinking. I don't know if it was immediately, um, but yes, I was always thinking about popping amulet at some point during this debacle. But it was probably more important to leave it till the end. I can so use probably, tunic now. That's probably more important because... to use it till the end. It's no big deal. He knew I was gonna pop amulet, right? Yeah, I feel like if I do anything greedy, you pop amulet anyways. Um, so I do think that I popping it, tunic here yeah. is probably value. So after I get my eight frosties, eight, right? Eight. Oh my god, I hate you. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna pitch nine here, so that leaves me with two floating <laughs> to remove my tunic counter. Would you like to waning moon me before my tunic counter resolves? <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter, but yes. Okay, so I'll have my two floating stop the waning moons two and uh then my one will resolve and I'll pay one and take four. I hate him. <laughs> Tunic stonks. <laughs> I feel like this is this is for all intents and purposes, the tunic there got me out of having to do the ice vein tax, which is relevant, but other than that, I had enough blues to like pay for most of the frostbites on the frost decks oh. at the end of the turn there. Uh, but I do think that was a plus EV play there. I'm going to put Tunic on one and then just pass to end. Give me your Frosties. What was my other option? Arsenal of Blue Weather Rain? Okay, now this hand doesn't do anything. Uh-oh. Uh Is this that kind of like Ice Lexi where like eventually you can't tax them and then you have a really bad blocking hand? Yes. It seems a little bit more consistent than Ice Lexi. True. Playing stuff at the opponent's turn is also pretty good. Yeah. Because, you, yeah, you get two turns, so you kind of effectively have two action points. Yeah, four blues in Bravo's hand sucks. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, if I had three yeah. blues and one red, I still technically could have paid my eight for the tunic counter there. Yeah, I could just pay one to... Can this Aether Hail for three damage at you? But I have three reds and a blue right now. And uh, so I can't really effectively do much. I'm just going to be sending probably six damage on my turn and then keeping my arsenal card to try and disrupt something on your turn. So just go. I am defeated. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am defeated. Keep drawing all my blues. Uh, I don't even have fuse cards here. Oh, no. I probably, I'll probably keep this card so just m moon polar cap no fuse for seven keeping a card in four hand. five six uh oh right because it's on your turn yeah rumor has it 90 percent of bravo's deck is blue that is not true <laughs> oh no dude I'm running, I think, currently 41. Yeah, I'm running 41 blues in my total 80, and I bring all of them into this matchup. I'll pay heard... three and take three. Yeah. I hate when my opponent is, like, good. <laughs> uh, tunic to two. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hammer for four. Not suspicious at all with this arsenal mm -hmm. that's been sitting here since literally, the, like, the second turn of the game. Yes. The problem with drawing uh back to back blue hands like this is that my next hand is gonna have four reds in it. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> it's um, gonna be really bad. 
I guess I'm slowing down a little bit. <laughs> because I keep drawing reds. And they're not giving frostbites. So I'm going to block six. Make your pummel really bad. Yeah, not that's fair. Really bad, but... I'll still do it and have one floating. Also, I guess that one floating, I should do this before reactions. I should... Well, it doesn't does it matter? I don't um, remember. I don't remember the math value of playing this ether hail out. Also, ugh. yes, because now I have one extra resource for the arcane on aether hail. Whereas if you do it before, I have to use that resource to. Um, although the frostbite. Yeah, the frostbite damage broken. on frostbite is what is what, is what is what makes it. Okay, like, so in this scenario. The same. In this scenario, I'm taking one from Aether Hail and one from the Frostbite damage. If you were to do it before, I would pay to break the Frostbite, and I would take two Aether Hail damage and no Frostbite damage. So yeah, it's actually the same. It's identical. Nice. I'll take one. Yeah, I'll pay two, one and four. take one. And then uh, three. I'll take three. And then the one Frostbite will take you, take you one. I will take one. And then you okay. took your four. Yes, I did. And then I'll Arsenal pass. It's unique to three. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Hmm. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Then I will why, do this. Why, is this. why is this happening again? You played your Arsenal card first? Yes. So... I played the Rouse for my Arsenal. Why do you have a you have the card that breaks Arsenal? <laughs> yeah, I have a call snap. That's funny. But but I probably should block this hand but like you have this so you have rouse into hammer then you have out muscle into hammer technically then, if my last card is a blue i can do it in this turn but yeah true. next turn thou muscle it probably comes next turn true yeah lutiful each stack of frostbites is created separately i mean they're technically all just eight eight frostbites in total after they're all done but they do get yeah. created four at a time as separate triggers. <clears throat> Block six. Yeah, okay. and then I'm drawing this at the wrong time. So we're sad. Uh, my tunic is value here because it turns on my hammer. Uh, I'm going to pay. I mean, because it, it lets me keep my. Uh, Did you put Rouse back in your hand? Oh, you put no, no, I put the Owl Muscle back in. I'm going to pay to activate tunic. Anything while I have two resources and a tunic waiting to resolve. Mm. And a frostbite also waiting to resolve. <laughs> yes, tears, tears on the stack. Tears are on the stack. <laughs> You're just gonna have out muscle afterwards with the hammer swing. That's what that's what's getting me down down in an earlier round. This seems a lot harder for no, Iceland. You can, you can, for, you can uh, go ahead. Uh, Iceland. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to um, go up to three. This is gone. And hammer for six. Yeah. <clears throat> I have to do that here. And I'm going to do this because, like, shooting you with Waning Moon just gets topped. So just got to use my resources like this and just take one. Not necessarily. If I had another blue in hand, I would not have tunic there. I think you can make that assumption. Mm. I see what you mean. But then I'd have to take some additional damage. I'd have to take uh You would two take more two damage. more, but like at least you have breakpoint for a later turn and your tunic's gonna be up soon. No, it's fine. I think I'll, I'll need my tunic more often and then I'll do that. So that's I'm okay. gonna sigil before the end of turn. That sounds fine. This is what I was saying. I think you could have predicted this, but yeah, if, if you value your life total, that's fair too. It plays around pummel technically. Yep. Tunic to one. <clears throat> um, this sucks. What? You can't play out muscle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can. I will out muscle. Six. Wow. Now I really have a decision. <laughs> this is hilarious. So you're not reacting, right? Is this the case? Yep, that's the case. Um, I mean, I might as well 
do this and hammer for six because otherwise I'm going to be stuck <laughs> with two reds in my hand the next turn. <laughs> and this is a yeah. lot of damage. Yeah, there's no way I don't swing the hammer here, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I'm just going to die to dominate here, which is so sad. Tunic to two. Uh... Sean says he was joking, but he definitely wasn't joking. Swing the hammer. I was joking. I'm going to do this and pay seven, pay seven for it, so I have two floating. Three, four, five, six, Swing seven, the hammer eight. again. I lived. Opponent lived? Oh, no. I lived by giving my tunic. Icelander living on one is generally how you die. It's like prism, too. <laughs> I did it. We got here. We 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 survived for weather vane. I'm getting mega cap. text. No cap. Uh yeah, fusing with cap. a frost text. Okay. <laughs> I'm being so, really greedy by fusing with the frost text instead of the polar blaster. So I'm gonna have four. That's fine. I'm gonna take you all your damage. One, two, three, four. What about this? <sighs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, Jacob doesn't read board states. Jeez. Yes. Um, that's fine. I guess I'll discard this. I just have to hammer next turn, which is so boring. No, don't hammer me. I'm cringe. Don't hammer me. <laughs> Tunic to three. Please. Um, I oh, could tell. I <laughs> do. I know what you fused with. Yeah, it was a frost axe. Oh, you arsenal a frost axe. Okay, so. Yeah, it was a technically. Frost. Technically, I cannot remove my tunic to hammer here, so I'm gonna have to just pitch all my cards. Uh, there's no reason really to keep any of these in arsenal, anyways. So this <coughs> cost me seven. I'm gonna have two floating, and uh, there are currently frostbites trying to break. Gosh. Joshua wishes he would value his life total. He plays too risky. Honestly, if you're playing the the um wounded bull version of Icelander, your life total like almost doesn't matter <laughs> if you're just doing your two for eights every single turn. Like block three, do some tax, do a two for eight, and then repeat. You go to one, opponent goes to twelve, and then uh eventually you just kill him. Okay. So you're giving me one frostbite, but I have two floating, so I will pay for the two tax at the end of the turn. Or the Disaster. Go ahead. Um, epic poggers. We're gonna do seven, revealing these guys. Exactly thirteen damage. Another classic four blue hands. Uh. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Actually Still not good you. enough, but what um, saves me. For, for a smidgen of a second. So I'll pay for the arcane and then arsenal pass. For a smidgen of a second, I get to live. Oh smidge. my gosh. I mean, it might be a little more than a smidge with the fact that I have so many reds left in my deck. Please. Um. I need... It's more damage if I just send the disable... I don't technically know what you arsenal this time. Correct. But <laughs> I'm gonna do this. My other Sorry. option was to underpitch the crippling to send Zealous and rep another blue in hand, but like you still only have to block two cards, and if you tax me, I can't hammer. Um Ugh. So you drew a card. I don't think I need to respond to the frostbite. That's fine. Oh no! <laughs> oh, you gained a life at least. Yeah. All right. I'll yeah, I gained pass. a life at least. So uh, I take two damage that. from my frostbite. Yep. Go ahead. Um. Your go, your go. Your go, your go. This is the MTG Arena toxicity. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. My brother and I do that when we play cards in person too. Red, red, blue. 
Yeah, I could technically just cast the crippling and ask for your whole hand. But if you have anything that's not a double tax, I can just hammer after this and do too much damage. Yep. Um, um it's still eleven either, right? Seven? No, it's thirteen. Never mind. I will respond by clearing my arsenal and sigiling. Don't yeah, thirteen. The, the deck takes a lot of more than eleven. And trying to learn against Guardian is rough. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'll, I could I'll play. Uh, I could play Fi. After actually. No, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, here you get is a frostbite. get a frostbite. So you can still swing hammer because you have red, freaking. Yeah, I have a red, but I also have tunic up, which is another thing. Also, you get to keep your crippling crusher out as well. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Might be greedy, but I think technically I'm taking your whole hand, so it should be fine. Yes, I am dead. I'm dead. Yeah, I'll use try again. To hammer for six. We try again. We try again. So mm -hmm. Waning Mooner Any... versus Guardian? Are you really yeah, just hits. trying to be as aggressive as possible? Like I feel like no. having at least Sinks or Oasis might be value, but I trust yeah. your expertise as you seem to have played this deck like a bunch. Over 300 games or yeah. something like that. <laughs> so yeah, so I would like any tits versus the Guardian matchup. Uh, I'm probably am being way too aggressive about the situation. Um, and then not being aggressive when I need to be. That all blue hand act for the A Frostbite sucked. Um, that was kind of something that could have tried to get me back into the damage race. But unfortunately, it did not. So that was a little sad. Um, yeah, that's I'll true. First, if right? I didn't have that lucky swing of two, four blues in a row... Uh, you might have like taken over a lot of momentum with that. Correct. Um, <clears throat> but uh, as I wait for tips, do you go first now? Uh, no, I went first last time. Okay, let's see if we can get a setup. Can we do we give frostbites to our opponent? T one. I have and no instant have speed. Sigil? Yeah, I have no Hello? instant speed things besides sigil. So yes. Seems like it might be good. So, so maybe stopping my opponent for swinging for a big number turn one seems okay. <clears throat> or Not good in Uprising maybe... Draft, though, because you can just heal your Smiter. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> uh, but also wonder if maybe saving it to disrupt you in the later in the middle of the turns might be better. But I can I can weather main pull. That's a Captain lot of T1. frostbites, actually. It's five. It's five. He's... So like, and then I can set up another weather vein in Arsenal. So after that, you'll probably only swing hammer for. Um, after this, unless you have sigil, and then if I had sigil, it would be a very very bad blowout. But I do not. Yeah, so I'll just so... do it. Let's see it. I'm gonna be getting five frostbites, meaning. I need to draw <clears throat> yes. blues to be able to do anything, pretty much. But There's you're not arsenaling tips. something that taxes me on that turn. Um, I think I underpitch like this to get one red out of my hand. Sure. Um, and take one damage. Sure. Tunic to one. Sure. We did it. We drew blues. <laughs> Disaster. <laughs> um. Yep. Yeah, so we're gonna hammer. Our options are either hammer to just put a little bit of pressure, or do nothing and then I could heave. But hammering is more. Heaving is only three value with all of my cards. Hammering is six value, and I arsenal. So, well, I guess I arsenal in both scenarios. Anyways, five frostbites are breaking. Yeah, they break. You know what I have. So the question is, do I continue to give you frostbites, or is Aether Ice Vein good enough? <coughs> and Waiting Moon for two? I'm going to say yes, but I don't know. A little Arsenal pass. So the frostbites effectively costed me an entire card and you did it on turn one which was very value 
Yeah, but it didn't really cost you an entire card. Like it, it's in your deck if you're talking about that way. Or no, I just mean on the turn cycle. One effectively. Yep. Yeah. Like I should generally be able to do more damage with three cards, but I only did six damage with three cards. Fair. Okay, so um five arcane, you're also going to waiting moon me after this because I know your arsenal is another I think yeah, here you go. red weather vein or something. Um let's hmm. see. I will pay one. And then yep. pay for the tax. That's seven total, so that leaves me taking six damage, going to 33. Okay, even game. Tunic to two. I'm going to Thunderquake for six. Just Thunderquake? Just Thunderquake, he says. <laughs> <laughs> Just the best card in the game that's supposed to be banned. Do I get to play now? Do I get? <laughs> it's supposed to be banned. I get to take 10 so I can Weatherbane, Fuse, Moon, Arsenal, play this, do a bunch of damage, and do more than 10. Try and do a, a, a sequence here that does more than 10. I'm going to try. Okay. They said that if I can give Frostbites, give Frostbites. Alrighty. So Tunic, Weatherbane, Icebane, Fuse. Hey. Okay. Um, so let's see, this is going to end up with me having three frostbites, your arsenaling a hypothermia. Yes. My arsenal is quite expensive. Um, I'm going to respond to the frostbites by doing this, where they sure. resolve, and I will take five. Okay. This card. What about Waning Moon? For I'll take two. He did seven damage to me. But he did give me yep. three Frostbites. Luckily, three is exactly enough for me to still hammer for six. Yep. Uh, oh, yeah, you can respond to that if you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my tunic's supposed to be on three, by the way. Didn't do that. Uh, oh, this is a much better tunic Weather Vein play. This is so sad. <laughs> this is so sad man this list must take so long to master like when you know exactly what cards are in your deck you like are able to maybe wait one turn longer because you know you're about to have like you could have a much better turn next time <laughs> instead of wasting it like that probably comes with experience for sure true uh yeah i can't really play this sequence what did i arsenal I can't really play this sequence because of it either. If I also would have Arsenal a different card instead of playing this card to do damage. So I just kind of get to block for three and deal a bunch of damage to my opponent, which is not bad. Yeah, if we follow each other down equally and then you end up taxing me in the late game, it's a lot worse because of your gap closing ability. Yep. So, and I think I want this at some point in the turn, but like my opponent knowing that I'm, they're not going to be disruptive kind of hurts. Um, but yeah, so we actually have the kind of ice eternal follow up to the. Oh, ice that's pretty good. Yeah, to go with it, and it's going to be X equals two. So I'm going to pay four resources just to have two floating for Moon. I am punished Fuse. by not just paying three to Sigil on last turn. <laughs> I really should have done that. I wanted yeah. to hammer for six though. Um, so now, okay, yeah, I have no responses, obviously. So how, X is what here? X is two. So you're gonna have five total frostbites and take five arcane damage. Yeah. So it goes to five. I'll take five. Go to twenty four. Then waiting moon for three. Waiting moon for three. And then block with this card. Three of them break, and I have two currently. Yeah, which doesn't really matter in this okay. sequence here. No frost X. Yeah, because I have no frost X. So I'm going to Arsenal turn. Pass. Yep. And I think we block out here <clears throat> and set up. As long as you don't dominate, but we'll see. Yeah, sadly, I cannot dominate. If I drew one more blue, I would have for sure dominate, try to dominate this because I had Tunic up. But 
Yeah. We'll just send it out on its own. One, two, three, four, five. Unfortunately, there's a seven, and I got a non block in my hand, so I can peek here. I mean, you could pitch the non block for Gauntlet if you really wanted to save peek and stuff. I think I want to play it. I think I want to play the Amulet of Ice and Play. Oh, yeah, that's fair. So it's pretty. it's been pretty good. So yeah. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I will arch some pass. I'll tunic Amulet Pass. Another interesting <laughs> hand. Uh, we're gonna send Zealous Belting <clears throat> for five go again. Yep, we got three, four, five. Um, I kind of like the idea of pummeling here. So I could either pitch that plus my last card to hammer for six. This is two less damage. For the same amount of cards, but you have to discard okay. a card. Yep. And I rotate another good card into my arsenal. So I think this okay. is. Okay. So I get to set up a little bit more. This is not bad. Tunic, e pop pass. Okay. Okay. Um. So now. You'll send an out muscle. So now. I think we'll have to take a little bit of damage here. I'll declare no blocks. No reactions. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now I have a decision. I think this is generally bad value. Sending two <laughs> two for sixes lowers my average damage per card. But like, uh, if I just hammer, I end with a blue in hand, and I don't like that. If we get double taxed, then we cannot hammer. But if we do not get double taxed, we're sending a lot of damage that you have to respond to. Yep, I have to respond to this damage, unfortunately. I think I have to use, oh, I can use three, four, five. Yeah, I think I'll have to go down to one. So <laughs> I'll take oh, man. Yeah, because I'm going to try to do a pivot here, right? And I'm, I'm going to have to use my E-pot is, is the unfortunate thing. So we'll hammer for six. The 21 is maybe too much health. <laughs> this is the thing. 21? But like this is a lot of damage. You did yeah, say it is. Say, you did eighteen. Did eighteen? Uh, uh yeah, eighteen. <laughs> uh, go to one. Are you using epot for that? I'm using tunic. Or you had? Gonna, oh, I didn't know. I forgot I that you removed your tunic. <clears throat> it doesn't matter what I do. Like I'm just gonna sort of actually taking out my tunic is important. So yeah, I'm gonna do this. Weather vane in case views. With a cold so snap. For us. So this is going to three and then another one. I'm going to have four. Mm -hmm. Um, Another one? Oh, you mean this one? Cold snap? Yeah. No, I mean the other. Oh, no. In case. Oh, sorry. In case is a little bit different. I thought things. that it was Polar Blast. Or the one that did <laughs> one Arcane. Or one Frostbite. So this is different. Yes. If it deals damage, freeze my hero and my equipment. Yes. Um, I would like to. Hmm, I can get blown out by Amulet of Ice. You're probably gonna cast the Amulet of Ice, actually. Uh I think I still want to remove the Frostbites on my turn in case you have a big Ice Eternal that you're arsenaling. So I'm going to pay three to remove my tunic after the frostbites resolve before the encase. So anything before yes. my tunic counter is live, I have none floating currently. Uh, I'll moan. For two. I will take two. Actually, this is this is much worse. <laughs> now that I now that I know that you've kind of removed that, I'm actually going to moon like this. Yep, I I took yeah. the two from moon. Then my one resolves. I will pay for one of in case and take two. And then these guys get frozen. Well, these guys yeah. aren't affected by it. But. Yeah, you're still just going to... It doesn't matter if I emulate here. You're just going to hammer fix. It might get you off the arsenal. Yeah, it removes an which, arsenal technically. So... Up to you on. I'll do it. Yeah. Um, it doesn't really stop your turn. I could try... I don't like the... I, I guess... 
Oh no, you need to have a red to be able to hammer for six. Right. Because you can't you gotta over pitch. Okay. Yeah. Um I'm gonna pay yeah, I'll, I'll pay for the amulets. I do still get to tick my tunic up, right? Because it's a trigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You still get or to do whatever. That. Yeah. Um and then yeah, I don't like the idea of giving you a six card hand. I am a little bit lower than I was earlier, so I will just hammer for six like this. I could <laughs> my other option is to just heave the thunderquake and pass. Uh but six still takes two cards because you're on exactly one, so yes. I guess technically I know you have a cold snap as well, which is relevant for heave purposes. Very true. Out muscle is gross. Yeah, out muscle is really good. A couple people, a couple other people suggested it. It's not my own original tech, but <laughs> I'm glad to have original tech saw it. Deal. Hmm. Not much to do, especially with this extra card in hand. I'm going to moon you. I'll pay one and take two. Um, I probably need to see... I probably need to see an additional card to. Yeah, so I'm gonna like, I'm gonna block with this Polar Blast as well. Oh, just a. Oh, I see. So it's a filter. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fair. <clears throat> Tuning to two. I will hammer for four. My hand. My hand is not. Your hammer for four? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Silly little hammer. Silly little hammer. Really I told our teammate around. Jeff that he should come watch if he's in the chat. He told us that he beat our other teammate Cody. They played uh, this this new deck versus Bra uh, Cody on Bravo. And he killed Bravo once. True. How did he do you it? You can pull me. I, I'm not. I can't play around with the the whole game. And yeah, like I, I we'll I just need keep to do something you. to pressure your life total. So we'll keep on trucking until I win a game. <laughs> <laughs> Games are going decently fast, at least. Yes, because I've been pretty aggressive at, at first. I was yeah. like attempting to see if disrupting you was more important than not doing so. But yeah, still quite difficult. And I couldn't find an opportunity to big, do big damage number. It required like my, my one of game striders, so... Is there a world where you have to pitch stack to win this this matchup? Like, do you have to fall you, back to the original Frost X plan with Ice Eternal, I, like a big Ice Eternal turn or something? The the issue with that plan always was that you have on demand dominate. So even yeah, if I had a bunch of true. defense reactions available to me to stop you from, you know, doing damage and me mm -hmm. able to take some damage to set up Frost Hex, Insidious Chill, or an Amulet of Ice, that you're still going to kill me much faster than me getting to my pitch deck due to that. But I see. There's a key factor that we were missing. Cody wasn't running out muscle when they played. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a big one. Out muscle for the okay. 18 damage alley-oop. You, you get to go first now, so. Tunic to one. Go ahead. Uh, I'm always lucky, and it's dirty. I will under pitch to heave Thunderquake. That's fine. Please, please let me draw like this during ProQuest. Yeah, I'll just let you have that. I'll have to block out because I, I also get to set up. Oh, that's not bad, yeah. Go ahead. <clears throat> Tunic to two responds to Seismics. You are gaming. I'm gaming? Yes. Okay, I'm going to exercise some greed. Hmm. I could <laughs> either. Bad. I don't know if that's actually worth it at all. It's probably that's not worth thing. it. Exercise some greed. <laughs> Let's see. What does it get me if I do that? I search a blue and then I draw an extra card next turn. Yes. But I get taxed. Yeah. So I could potentially cast imposing here, but if I get taxed a single time, I don't get to arsenal. I would just imposing to search for another blue and then use it to cast Thunderquake. Okay. But I would I'm not doing that. Okay, would you like to respond to Dominate? No. Um okay. Ten dominate. 
Yep. So that just allows me kind of to. <coughs> okay, we have a lot of seismic surges, so there's kind of no reason to here. Uh, so three, take seven. Okay. Oh, let's I go. will oh. arsenal pass. The other argument for doing opposing there is that it uses all of my cards, but keeping this card in hand is fine technically with what I arsenal. So we get to go. Ice vein fuse. Ice vein. Zidia steel trigger. Who? Double tax. Yep. Oh, two next to two. Hmm. You're going to get a little bit of momentum off of this play. Yeah, but without any big attacks, it's kind of not going to be available. To we'll see. Just practice, practice, practice. Um, pay two, yep, and then pay two, yep. Oh, sorry, uh, pay two, and then with the ice vein. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> So I want to guarantee the fuse on my next turn is the, so is the question. I think I do. I'm trying to figure out if I can bait your amulet of ice. <laughs> Just being fully, <laughs> fully disclosing whether I can do that or not. Fair. Um, I don't think it's worth it to do that. That is a weird, weird circumstance. I think I'm overthinking it for something that's not going to really net me much value. Fair. <clears throat> oh, I think I figured it out. I will pay two mm -hmm. for ace, ice vein, take two, and then pay two for the ice vein tax. Yep. And then I'm not going to send the amulet of ice this time around. I did not actually figure it out. <laughs> Dang it. That was a really confusing turn for me. Jeez. Uh, uh, I have to that's just... Bad. I just have to cast my sigil on my turn. This was really weird. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I made a really bad misplay, I think. I was supposed to discard <laughs> instead of paying two. I, for some reason, I thought there was like an extra one. I was trying really hard to figure out how I could respond by sigiling oh, with your amulet, but <laughs> I thought oh, I figured it out, but me. I didn't. <laughs> Uh, that's hilarious. Okay. Okay, so I gain my three, and then I'm just gonna pass yep. my third. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> kind of a weird hand for that me. That was so such a weird thing for me to try to do. Ooh, some lag, some TTS lag. There's a card here, and I see no card in your hand. But as long as it looks cards. good on stream, we're good. Yeah, I have cards. Do you see them now after I move them? Yeah. Polar cap for four, no fuse, <clears throat> and then waning moon for two. Just gonna do everything quickly. That's fair, because I took so much time last <laughs> No, no, it's fine. No fuse. <clears throat> yes, no fuse is the the saddest. Get with it, Jacob. Stop overthinking. Oh man, you're getting roasted. I am. I'm just gonna take six here. Crippling crush, huh? <laughs> How do you know? Um That's a reason. I think I'm actually gonna Jacob. do this. Whoops. Rouse? Yeah. So that's nice. I'll take seven. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna under pitch to hammer like this. So I got a pretty free 
use of my iron high gauntlet, so I should take advantage of that when I can. So one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna do what the kids call a sequence. A sequence? Anything before yep. then my turn? No. Okay. So we're gonna we're getting sequenced. Play amulet of ice, play Eisenhower Weather Vane, play Polar Cap, fuse. <laughs> Feels like I'm gonna end this turn with no cards in hand. So first, Insidious Chill Trigger. Yes. Uh, pay two for said trigger. Okay. Um, now I there think are we. Four, no, they're not. I think we. <sighs> if I amulet of ice you twice <clears throat> and take six resources, that doesn't really stop you from. Activating your tunic. Correct. Mm. Unless you have two blues, two reds over there. We're discounting this one, of course. Um, I'll still pop the first one, I think. I think I always kind of pop it. I think I discard for that. Okay. Even then... If I do the second one and you pitch a blue, then you can still do it. <laughs> oh, that's such a disaster. So if I do this and you and you discard the other red and then you have the blue, you use four resources there to basically block one there, but it's kind of value, I guess. I but think I in this scenario, over there. the be so oh. if you're doing this before the ice vein, the weather vein, my best case scenario with two blues in hand is to just remove the tunic counter to pay for this amulet, take all of oh, this damage, true. and have five, oh, five frostbites. Yeah. Oh, never mind. I can't pay for any of those with that. Nope. Um, <laughs> so I'm saying right now you can't play for any of them. Yeah, but I like, can't at all. You can't at all. You're never going to swing for me, like, sir. But, like, you're saving a lot of life because I'm showing you frost and I would yeah. like for you to keep, if I'd like for you to keep those frost points. Right. Um, so, if I pay two here for this one. Yeah. Then, yeah, what you were saying is that I can still activate tunic. <clears throat> Wait. Uh, if you have a blue, yeah. If I have a blue, yeah. Um, and there's no reason to save the. It's four, right? It is four first. Yeah, so there's no reason to s saving the blue in hand. Let's me block three frostbites, and I'll take one next turn, and I will take two this turn for a total of three. Alternatively, if I break all of the frostbites, I will take two this turn, Disaster. and not four next turn. So I'm doing that. I'll pay one to remove tunic. Any response before the tunic resolves? No. Okay, so I have two, and I will stop two. And you get one frostbite. That was a lot of tax. <laughs> it was, I'll put it was. tunic on one and pass back to you. Um, Am I taking two frost text damage? I would like for you to, but then I get to do nothing on my deck. <laughs> oh no. You keep drawing like these too many red hands. Right when it matters, it feels like. Yes. The big, th the big thonk Steven face. Ah, <laughs> uh, I think I do play it. Yep. But then maybe I don't get the opportunity to play this out, which is the bad thing. And then I'm going to have like a bunch of stuff here. Additionally, hopefully I can keep this and then Weather Bane, the other one. But I feel like you just have a Crippling Crush in Arcel. How's he have such a good memory compared to me? Uh, Sean memory. <laughs> no, Sean wouldn't have seen it and he would have just known that it's a Crippling anyways. True, true, true. Maybe, uh, maybe don't, maybe not playing it as a play. I technically know just... it's there, so I can take risks based on being yeah. a player on one tax. 
If you're right. I'm not gonna play it. To I need I need to tax you to not play that crippling crush. So let's let's see if okay. I can. And I, I can't and I can't actually. So it's not bad. But then I can't play this. So it's if I tax you to just hammer swing, that's not bad. But then if I tax you doing some damage, it's not bad either. There's a lot of not bad things. I'm deciding between Polar Cap and Aether Ice Vein, basically. They both tax you similarly, because this one's going to give you a Frostbite, and this one's going to make you pay two resources. Either way, you're going to be able to Hammer Swing. So it might be worth it to more. save the Ice Vein, because you're on your last Insidious counter. They're both Fuse Guards, but... Oh, true, 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 true. I think I'm going to Polar Cap because it's more damage technically because <clears throat> I can do this and then pitch Fuse with Amulet of Ice and then pitch the Mini Mover too. So, okay. so Insidious Chill on the stack first. So I pay two for Insidious Chill, one floating. Then Waning Moon. Uh, that's going to give me one Frostbite. Yes. I can still pay for Crippling though. Huh? I can still oh, pay yeah, for crippling nine. through two frostbites because I have a lot of ghouls in hands. I'll pay yeah. one. <laughs> Unlucky again. I'll take three, four, five. I have two frosties. Yeah. And then I and then I'm stuck with a non-block in hand. <laughs> oh. Well, that's fine. Yeah. So I pay nine for crippling crush. These guys are on the stack. Yeah. You should only you should only have one frostbite. By the way. What? Not two. Didn't you fuse Polar Cap? It dealt damage yeah. to me. No, it doesn't matter. It, I, I, oh. It's still only one. Oh, it's I like one. added one too. Oh, okay, so then I have one. Yeah, you just added one too many, yeah. Just block. Just block, block, block. So that, that can die, I guess. So I can do this just to rotate out the Frost Hex out. So I will. <laughs> okay. Take three. Yep, I pay for the frost six. And then tunic. Pass. Oh god! Oh no! Ooh. You can I'm technically dead. save your coronet peak by just waiting, mooning, and not arsenaling. I don't know if that's something that matters to you. Um. No, I need to have the okay. arsenal. Sounds good. Uh, my tunic goes to three. I will mm -hmm. choke slam for eight. With two floating. That's fine. I'll block six. Yikes. I'll arsenal I pass. Take two. E pot. Draw. Go ahead. Uh, I'll do it again. Mm-hmm. 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 <clears throat> mm -hmm. Don't really have much going for me. But at least I can block a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll do a blue pummel. Sick. Take two. Discard this hypo. Okay. <laughs> that I was just gonna play for free. Yeah, for no. Yeah, doing nothing anyway. Almost like a pretty much do nothing. Yeah. Um. Options. Options, options. I'm just gonna options. cast this for seven, paying two blues and a red. What a disaster! Is there any Bravo enjoyers in the chat? If you you guys should go watch the uh, Bravo video that's posted on the Runaways channel. I think that's uh, Yuanji and Dan Rutkowski's and stuff. Their team. They have very interesting um, take on Bravo. They're running a lot less blue, not a lot less blues. They're only running thirty six blues. But they're doing red and yellow zealous blessing of deliverance, a bunch of like two cost stuff to really take advantage of uh, seismic surges. It's interesting. Goodbye. You you passed. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, hammer for four. This is. Pummels are definitely MVP versus Icelander. I would say. And sigils. Think... Sigils are pretty good too. I think like this. I think I can go like. This try and save my left a little bit. 
Um, I will do a blue one. Have one floating. Nothing else? Yeah, nothing else. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll take two. <laughs> and then I'm going to sigil. Yeah, that's fine. And arsenal pass. I'm going to cold snap. Oh, into life. Interesting. Um, that's fine. I is it? Doesn't give me a. <laughs> Do I no. want my arsenal? Do you want your arsenal? <clears throat> no, I'll, I'll let it be frozen. It's fine. Sure. What do you want for two? I'll pay for one and take one. What the? That's crazy. I'll just send a thunderquake for ten. Thunderquake was a mistake. Yeah, Thunderquake is so good when I can just, it's like not respondable, but it's a respectable amount of damage. You're at 30? Did I, I miss, did this. I not take my two damage from, or my, did I not take my damage from pitching? What did I do last? What? <laughs> you waning mooned me last turn, right? Nope, I did not. I haven't. My arsenal has been in my arsenal. I mean, like during your main phase, like your I, actual I, last turn. Yeah, but you took one. Oh, was, I did. It was okay. Two. okay. Yeah, yeah, you took one. Um, but I think that was with I pitched this and it's supposed to be there. Let's try this line of play. Take one. Okay. Is my arsenal frozen until the end of my turn or your turn? End of my turn. Epop, Tunic, Frost Hex, so Pass. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, is it nice? I don't think it is. <laughs> I'm going to activate Bravo. Any response? Yeah. No. And I'll do this. This is what I was waiting for. This is what I was waiting for. Anyone who doesn't run Tunic as Bravo versus Icelander... It's just like giving up so many percentage points, I think. Now you're dead. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't I've stack been, enough frostbite. I can't be slow enough. Did I slow down? I, I slowed down a little. This is also kind of a fast game. It's almost like only... Yeah, it was. But I'm dead. Yeah. GG. Um, is it pitch stack for this hero? But like I said, I Like I you said, it's, it's, it it's the same the... like conundrum, right? Yeah, it's it's that situation. Um, like you need to fill your deck to the brim with defense reactions and oasis for that plan to like even do anything. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's at least our testing results from like before Nats, before the Hamilton deck. That's what our team was on, and we had like Sinks, Fates, Oasis, and sometimes Red Unmovable. <laughs> yes. And even then, like Bravo can get there just because of the. Like back then, mm. I was running CNC Pummel because most Icelanders ran so many defense reactions. Yes. It's just a hard, I think, versus Bravo, it's a hard conundrum. The best chance you have is just sending so many wounded bulls that you outvalue me until we're both sub 10 and then you gap me with striders. True. Um, trying to think. I don't think we have time for another CC game. So, yeah. Playing a Blitz game. Playing a Blitz game. Playing a blitz game, and so I can so I can win a game is what I'm trying to say here. I always lose our blitz games. This is true. I think. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna get Gear. a random featured blitz list off of Fabry. Sure. Even before Kano, I guess. I will not pick it if it's Kano. <laughs> <laughs> blitz. Oh, that was really hard. I need a lot more practice with that, but list i still could not wrap my head around it someone's levia deck is called busted levia so if it's so busted then i should win with it true whoops whoops that is it the busted levia deck <clears throat> it's busted only because of the existence of man of uh carrion husk so true 
Arachne does not require any arcane barrier. I'm curious so why this meat axe is in here. What is this? It's because it's busted. Must be. <laughs> Probably can deal more damage with mandible claws, so I'll just stick with that. I've played Levia a total of zero times in Blitz. I've I drafted Levia one time, but Odd I want I want odds, of course. Gotta gotta respect the homie. Thank you, thank you. Even Steven. Even Steven. Uh you can go first. Alrighty. Because I do not want to <clears throat> do anything else. This feels like I shouldn't have gotten myself into this because I don't know what any of my cards do. But I need <laughs> <laughs> I need to attack. So I know true. that much. Because I so need to fill true. my graveyard. Um, I do deserve a win. Let's see. I could attack with Rekoromp, but then I risk discarding a good card. Uh, and you might fatigue me faster if I attack. Hmm. Let's do this. I'm going to attack with Rekoromp. You can choose one of my cards for me to discard. This is wrong. I need to pitch. I, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Dang it. I need to pitch this card. <laughs> because arsenaling that card would have been bad. So I, we lose on Art of War, but I, I realized after the fact that arsenaling Soul, Soul Harvest would be the wrong thing to do. Okay. I'll arsenal oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bad. <laughs> <laughs> and before I forget all my carry and husk blood debt triggers, too. CNC. CNC. Uh, I think that's okay because I have a swing big on my team. Oh, nice. I thought you were I get to play the sigils. <laughs> okay, swing big. Ooh, swing big. We getting them, we getting them graveyard filled up, boy. True, true, true. Um, wait, this. <laughs> What? This uh, this Blitz Fabray list says busted Levia guide and matchups, but the only matchups they have are Ice Lander and Kano. There's no other matchups set. You're getting called out, by the way. Oh, what's happening? Man, Sant just joined the chat. Deadwood block doesn't block. Did I actually just? <laughs> did I do that? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Man, Sant came in the chat. Man, Sant with the. <laughs> Oh, it's so funny and ironic that specifically Mansant comes in. Hello, Mansant. Thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> this is my first time ever playing Levia and Blitz. So I'm going to take three more. Wait, that's actually the biggest disaster because I would lose my arsenal. <laughs> so let me just. Do I have any other options? What are my you options? Could've... You could have pitched that instead of the blue. I don't know. Well, I don't know what were your options. Oh, this is my hand. I would have had to do this. And then cast the Deadwood. I have Don't to block, block like that. this, and then cast the Deadwood, I think. Sure, draw discard. Oh, I'm crying that this happens. It's so funny. Okay, we discard. <laughs> okay, this is a random Foolish mortal, mortal blocking. <laughs> yep. Okay. I don't banish anything, but uh, luckily I don't have any blood there yet. Yeah. Six off two cards when it's a blue, though. It's pretty pretty good value. Let's block with just cut to the chase and this mass. Take two. Okay. Take take two? You're only supposed to take one, I think. Yeah, that's that's a six. That's a six. Yeah, but that's a three block and a... Oh, mask is a one. I was thinking of a different card. Must be. My mans cannot. <laughs> Bro, I'm throwing off. I'm like starstruck right now, I think. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> dude, no, no. We, we have a pipeline because... <laughs> You, we made a video with Ethnic Smoke, and Ethnic Smoke <laughs> is going to be commentating with Man Sam. So one day we will be on the pipelines. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with that. I'm I thinking one forward. here, I think. And then we're going to have this. Forward. And then I'm going to look at this. And then I'm going to be <laughs> very confused, and I'm going to put that to the bottom of the deck. <laughs> I don't even know what's in this deck, deck. so. <laughs> you must see some spice that I don't know about. Um, Let's see. This is so funny. Let's attack actions. I yes. mean, let's. 
Oh, it's only blocks. We're not blocking. We'll take three. Okay, let's take that card from the top of your deck. Go for it. Oh, Mark of the Beast? So oh, man. Mark of the Beast. Oh, I should have popped Mask of Perdition. I'm sorry. That's why That's I blocked That's with it fine. in the first place. So I get the two silver back immediately. I have one blood that right now. Testi testing is great. I have to be uh, careful about this. Blood that. <laughs> uh, your go. Okay. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, I think, cast Dreadwood Screamer. What was Screamer? Because I probably should have blocked with that just so my pulping was turned on, which is a big misplay. We're just going to do this. I must banish sure. three cards. So just flip it, shuffle, and then banish the three. One, two, three. All hits. Oh, well, no blood two debt. hits, no blood debt. Four damage. Pretty lucky. Go again. Pretty lucky. Pretty lucky indeed. Four damage, that's it? Let's block three. Four damage, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. All right, so you take, take one. one. <clears throat> yeah. Let's see what the and then. Is. Are you putting it over here? Yeah, just so that it reminds me more because I'm bad at remembering it. I don't really play sure. Blood Day Heroes very much. What I could either. I haven't discarded a six, so my claws are not turned on. I'm just going to pulping true. and draw a discard. Discard <laughs> recklessly. That's fine. Uh, for six. <laughs> This is 10 damage off of four cards, which is not very amazing. It's it's pilot error, though. I should have blocked with a Dread Screamer and done I'll take one. Bulping into Boneyard Marauder. Okay, uh, I, I did banish a six this turn. So you I did, you did. I want a Crown of Providence, please. Why is Nourishing Emptiness in this deck? But seeing Levi on screen is so distracting. Haha, you better win. Oh, boy. Oh, no. I'm not going to win, dude. Don't get your hopes up. <laughs> this is... Oh, again, this oh, is just bad. a random featured deck list on February. Yeah, I literally just picked this so randomly. I should have picked probably an easier hero to play, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I'm the Levaya player here. And Blitz. Uh, oh, sorry, I should have paid two silver to get my mask back. Yoink. Nice. Uh, okay. I would like to keep my arsenal. Let's see, what else? I just cop. Only if a card with six or more has been put into my banished zone. Don't have that many action points next turn. I don't know what this busted line is. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> it's really sus. What is uh, mine called? We mine could do this, but if we points. get if we get um reacted, we get blown out because of husk. So I yes. wonder if we just give husk here. But we have to give cards from hand because our hand kind of actually does nothing. I'm gonna do that instead. Okay. I'm just gonna block six. Sure. <laughs> oh man. I'm just gonna play my cards standard. at this point. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Okay. I understand the idea of nourishing emptiness, but like it seems very hard to pull off in practice. There's two in this deck? Is that what you bottomed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's at hilarious. Point, at some point I bottom one. Alright, so I like, turned off Levia. <clears throat> we're dealing six. Uh, I'm gonna get in trouble because I just got rid of my only turn off blood debt banish thing and I'm not arsenaling one. Oh my god, that's so hilarious. Um, I think we just... It still threatens, but this threatens a little bit more. This threatens a little bit more, but you're probably going to husk the first attack. The people tuned in to see the spicy sauce Icelander, but in reality what they're seeing is Jacob flailing and playing Levia very badly. <laughs> yep, so we're going to try it like this. Right, let's I show everyone one. what this card is. Okay. <clears throat> Being really I do not obvious. take blood that. No. Here's a spider's bite. Um, let's see. Don't know about this. I will take one. I will plunder the poor. I'll take a peek. Put that take at the a bottom. peek. You have cards left in hand. Sure do. Yeah, I feel like what Mansant said about nourishing is true. Like, I have to banish all the cards in my graveyard and then cast it. I missed um, a lot. The deck is really hard to play. Garden is the matchup that takes the 
pack test, Tunic is so good into Icelander, and I've never seen out muscle played. <laughs> I think we have to have never yeah. seen out muscle played. Yeah, that card's kind of good. Jacobs, Jacobs, I'm gonna get husk value here. If you have, if you hold a card in hand, then that's fine by me. Sure. <clears throat> uh, we are praying that we hit a uh, <laughs> good, good draw discard. All right, Let's epic put them on the table. You want me to put them on the table for true RNG? Yeah, I just shuffled. Just do it yourself. I don't want to okay. touch your cards. All right, Gross. that's fair. We discard a six, so we could go again. But sadly, it was a card that we would have liked to had Let's to pitch. Block like this. Uh, yeah, misplays have been made. I'm basically, mostly worried about the. <laughs> I wish I didn't draw red. With Dread, the Banish 3 go again into Nourishin is efficient, pitch 4 cost. I just don't play it unless you're feeling lucky on the day. <laughs> don't That's play fair. it unless you're feeling lucky. I have to make a really sad play and pitch 2 reds to claw. What are you talking? Do you realize you haven't turned off Blood there, right? I know. That I have no other, literally no other options because I Arsenal are a very stupid card. You should have. You need to be a little bit more... <laughs> And play that hungering slaughter bees or something because <laughs> probably should have actually yeah done that classic non levire player not turning classic big misplay take three here you know what he just wants to finish the game quickly it's fine it's kind of true <laughs> i'm doing so bad uh All right. let's put that at the bottom <clears throat> slay the scholars no blocks <laughs> no reactions <laughs> you're so bad <laughs> three four. Oh no here you go sure thanks not another blood deck actually. card. Oh yeah, That's a blood deck card. <laughs> this, I'm just gonna. This is just a bad matchup, right, guys? It's just a bad matchup. <laughs> it, it it is just a bad matchup. Uh, what did I say? Put copium. that on the table. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we discard a six and draw two cards. Let's see what happens. Are you gonna turn off blood this turn? We drew resource cards. Hell yeah. But are you gonna turn off blood this turn? Wouldn't you like to know? I am once again asking if you're going to turn off. <laughs> um, what are my chances? I think yeah. I have a lot of sixes in my graveyard. Mostly sixes. Yeah, I can turn off Blood Debt. Well, this Blood Rush is in there. Oh. Rules, rules, <laughs> rules. We're going to send rules, five rules. go again. We're going to sink that. And then we're going to... I think we're going to sink. I think I want this for later in the game. I could get something atrocious. No, I hate I hate sinking with with no information. Um. Okay, I'm gonna do this breaking the chain. All pog. Now I made a misplay because I have exactly three misses <laughs> in the graveyard. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> oh no! What are you doing? Three, three, two, three. All right, I hit two of my three misses. <laughs> That's Very hilarious. Lucky. But we hit a six. Oh. So this Block is six. eight go again, though, because of oh, Blood um, Rush Bellows. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, wait, it's ten because of... What? You Goliath, and that hits Goliath. Oh, uh, yeah, plus Goliath. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I'll do this. And then I'm going to pay uh, one for this for nine damage. Nine. For this nine. is the card that was I was very silly one, two, to put three, in my graveyard. Four, my five, arsenal. six, seven, eight, nine. That's fine. Okay. Blood that's turned off, I pass. Yep, let's just plunder the poor. Uh, um, oh. let's put that at the bottom. I can take a risk. Does this cost one or less cards? Yeah. Hmm. How does my turn work? I might be able to kill you without worrying about blood debt, potentially. Fair. So let's just pretend like that's going to happen. So I'm going <laughs> to block like this. Do you have another Blood Rush? The second Blood Rush? Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Um, do I pitch Mark of the Beast or Hungering Slaughter Beast or said <laughs> Blood Rush? Because <clears throat> I want the swing bait because it's just so much damage. I don't it think is. ultimately it matters. I guess, I guess we'll do this. So I have the chance to... Whoops. To discard uh, Mark of the Beast. Fair. Okay, we didn't discard nice. Mark of the Beast. <laughs> uh, we draw two cards. Yep. Um, 
Not Pog. I have one floating. Weasley. So true, Weasley. So true. Uh, technically, I can live through one turn of blood death, so we're going to do this. Here's five. Ugh. That is five. Yeah. It's at least damage. Nope. <clears throat> yes. Block three. Take two. Um, I'm really not turning off blood death this turn, am I? No, you mark the beast. If you just play it, you just turn it off. Oh, dude. Thanks for the tip. I forgot about that. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> so like, <laughs> okay, we're gonna do that then, I guess. I could. Uh, so this is for eight. My other option is to go five into. I mean, do I actually have lethal if I go five into six, which is eleven? If you have at max nine cards, nine, ten, eleven. No, that's not. Uh, no. Yeah, it's not lethal. So we're just gonna do eight. Yeah, and I'm gonna have one floating. Three, six, pitching. seven. Take. Where did my other card go? This is a disaster. <laughs> um, this gets banished instead. So I go to yes. five, but it means the blood dead is turned off. So poggers. Yep. Let's fleece the frail. Looking for two <clears> block <throat> or less. I'm going to put that at the bottom. Uh, we're going to do a risky biscuit and just do this. Try to end and the game. Mask of Perdition here. Okay. There's two cards. Neither uh, are two Both blocks. of them block three. Whoa. But I go to six blood that. How much damage was that? Four. So I need to take three. Yes. Um. I have six cards with mm. blood that in my banish zone. Therefore, so I can cast Doomsday. But so I don't know what the code is for Blasma Fett. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to get it really fast. <laughs> and this probably isn't even the right thing to do based on. The fact that I no, actually but end the playing, game. playing Doomsday is the best thing to do. You think so? It's the most fun. It's the most fun thing to do. Okay. In in flesh and blood. One of the most fun things to do in flesh and blood. Does it work? Yes, I got the special one. <laughs> okay. Um, when it attacks, I can banish a shadow card from my hand. If I do, banish a card from your soul. Otherwise, it's sure. just a zero for six. No, um, but it also banishes a card from your hand, which you could be a six, which turns off blood death. Right. That's the that's the play there. Um given that I was planning to do this the whole time because I'm smart, I should have blocked more, but I'm not smart. True, true, true. Um why did I I don't know what what's going on <laughs> right now. I could take a risk and go wild ride and try to Go again into my Blasma Fed attack, or I can just make sure that Blood Dead is turned off. True. Or I can roll scabs. True. <laughs> and be really funny because I would lose by rolling a one. I think just attacking for six does not win me the game. I think Wild yeah. Riding has a chance to. Um. For wild me to could also lose you draw, the game, right? yeah, wild ride can also lose me the game. So if I'm gonna like take a chance here, I feel like I should just do it straight up with scabs. Help, <laughs> Yolo, we're gonna lose right now. All right, that's fine. Okay, good. We have one action point. Um, the, the I'm gonna take. Of choice. I, I'm gonna take the risk. I think Two my pitch stack probably has a pursuit of a pursuit of knowledge. Oh no, we're so good. We're an epic gamer. We're an epic gamer. We did the we did the thing. Here you go. There was this was also a hit for what it's worth, and it's just gonna get banished to Yeah. Last um, this year six go again. Uh this is making me feel like I don't know how to play Flesh and Blood. Is this even fun to watch? Six. <laughs> Uh, then we're going to attack for six, banishing the shadow card from my hand, going to seven blood death. Three tunic oasis, you know, life. Oh, no. I don't have enough cards left in my deck to kill you, probably. <laughs> you, have, you have good cards in there, I'm pretty sure. Uh, um, But yes, we are at an unfortunate threshold on my end. Wait, what are you doing? What do you mean, what this am I doing? stays in play. Oh, silly me. Um, 
I mean, honestly, I just need to do this. Yeah, the threshold you mentioned, which is that you didn't block with Tunic earlier, means that I can kill you with Reckless. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to banish this. Kill me. You can't kill me with Reckless Wing. And attack for disaster. Six. Uh, block three, and then sigil. You didn't, uh... Aww. <laughs> you didn't really... I've been baited, and I'll... Wait, no, it accomplishes the same thing, though, because you stay at two. Yeah, yeah, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still at two. Uh, so what you're telling me is that you probably have either another Oasis or another Sigil. Oh no, you use all your Sigils, but you have another Oasis. I'm getting so baited right now, chat. Uh, uh, Will Arsenal, I guess. Yeah. I'll Tunic. Well, can I have done some? Could I have done some? Where'd my life total go? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I turned off Blood That. What was I on, like six? Or five? Where'd it go? Uh, you're at five, you're at five. I don't know where it went. Um, that can go to the bottom. Such a good card. Uh, surgical? That's pretty good. Yeah. I'll go to reactions. I'll do this. Sure. Oh, you want me to do it the good way? Okay. Yeah, do it the correct way. Are they all sixes? I don't think. Yeah, they are. All right. Here's Oasis on that one. Damn, that's crazy. So you not only gain one life, you also prevent the two damage. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's epic poggers. Go ahead. Sadly, I banished my other reckless swing earlier. <laughs> yeah. Um. Let's see. Roll scabs would be funny. Surely I can't miss twice. Surely. Alternatively, <laughs> I could. I think the I only way I finish this game actually is rolling scabs, so I'm going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. That, I that's can't kill you without do. doing scabs. Damn. Yes. So maybe I have one more turn of attacking with Plasma Fat. Um, but you're going to actually threaten lethal next turn, probably. Hmm. I have four cards in deck. I'll just attack with Blasphema Fat and banish the Hungering Slaughter Beast. Yeah. Oh, my blood that is so off the have, charts, but it's lethal regardless. So. I think I'm going to have to keep going. <clears throat> Does anybody know if we have to keep going? Uh, what? So, no, nothing. I I'll have to block like that. And then I can... Hmm, I can threaten... I arsenal I wonder, pass. I wonder if I should have threatened the... If you're supposed to kill Blasmo that maybe? No. Hold on a second. You have one mm. card left. Yeah, one card left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tunic to three. I wish I knew what it is. It's, it's, I think it's a Pursuit of Knowledge, isn't it? Wait, no, it's the card okay. that I just pitched. I'm stupid. It's Nourishing Emptiness. Oh, wait, you have Nourishing Emptiness. Oh, it's the yeah, card that you kill. bottomed? Because I haven't. I have to kill Nourishing here. So, Oop. You kill this guy, he doesn't oh, go sorry, to my graveyard. Kill Blasma, but. So, go ahead. I'm once again asking. No. <laughs> I can just get killed again. For a Gaskins roll? No, I can get go again on Art of War and kill you that way, I think. Is this true or not? That is the question, huh? Um Dang, why is house come soul harvest cost six no matter what? But chain specialization <laughs> like is it instead? Uh, That's kinda rude. That is rude. Um, we get a blue six for that instead of a red six. Yeah, you're right. It's a blue. Uh, so that was a mistake. I feel like killing Blasma Fit was smart. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I'm saying me. Me. <laughs> Arsenaling that card was a mistake, I think. Um, Tough game. Yeah. Tough hero. <laughs> <laughs> you have three life still too, huh? Yep. What's the max amount of damage I can do on my turn? I don't know. I wish you did. <laughs> Oh All right, we'll just do this. Three, four, five, six, seven for this guy. 
I'm going to banish six blood deck cards. <laughs> Yikes. One. Two. Do you have six? Three. Yeah, I do. I think. It's six cards. And each card with Beast, blood debt. Graveling, dead wood. This card does not have blood debt. There's a blood debt. Do I have any cards in here that are not sixes that have blood <laughs> debt? Because that would be a smart thing to banish. Yeah, here's one. And here's one. Was this one? Is this three, six? Four, five, six? Yeah. Yeah, six blood. Right, here you card. go. That's I'm attacking twelve. for twelve now. Well, <clears throat> block in there. Block in there. Hmm. Blood's debt's turned off. Epic poggers. Hmm. I am dead. I also have one card in deck. Blast oh. got too much value. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> oh, that's that's, that's hilarious. Wait, so you know what card is in my hand. I was going to try to catch you out with it. You said it out loud. <laughs> Did I? Whoops. Plus, 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 I've been seeing it this whole game. Yeah, I've you have. Them. I bought them those cards. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. I could not get there. Um... This was the right play. Dude, mega accomplishment. Big ups. Yes. Yes, you're playing an <laughs> Don't worry, the new Arachne. The new Arachne. Thank you. Thank you for boosting my... All right, what's yep, what's happening so here? You have a non-blocking hand? Blocking 12, blocking 12. Oh, okay. You, you the question is, do like... I play my Art of War? Probably not, because it's just a guaranteed banish. It's, it's, it's a guaranteed go again next turn. Yeah, so I just like you just it. go. That's, I just arsenal Just go it. Art of War. You just do everything. <laughs> yeah, tell me the answer on the, on my last hand. Maybe I'll have no, to figure but, it out myself. No. no I go... Yeah, I just go Art of War, go again for nourishing, and then... Yeah, Art of War... Go again for nourishing into Mandible Claw. Yes, yes. I did not put the pressure on. This isn't fair. I that played so B. badly. <laughs> that was my B. I played badly. I also Good. I also like cheated on the very first turn of the game and blocked with a card that doesn't have a block value. <laughs> okay, you got called out. That's what matters. Yeah. Wow. I should have yeah. played my stressful. oasis a lot earlier so that I could uptick to my second oasis because it, it took so long for me. But I was like valuing the extra life of oasis for way too long so that was my bad that's okay yeah and then you did trick me but i realized after a second that you were tricking me yes i was tricking you a little <laughs> bit i did not risk well not that i didn't respect it's just that i i just could have done better decisions to attempt to get the win there banish beast for and i should have i should have sh okay. jacob is higher than me on the global leaderboard so it's okay <laughs> Only by a little bit. Only by a little bit. Um, did I get yeah. full? I did get full sync value. I didn't get to <clears throat> your blood assurance. I think your first one was really good, and your second one was like mid. Yeah, you probably should have just oasis like one of my normal attacks to gain a life yes. and go out of range without being fancy about it. No, I I couldn't I couldn't gain a life because you went so low. Like that's what I'm saying. Like I, I was trying to value the life way too much. Oh. Oh, I must misremember what happened. Well, I did for I did not forget. Oh man. Um, Thanks everyone for hanging in there through that last yes. disaster of a game. Thanks for watching Man Sense. That was fun. Uh yeah, thanks yeah, for watching Josh, if you guys for always being here. Just joined at the end. Earlier in the VOD is where we did play Bravo versus Weathervane Icelander. And it turns out that Outmuscle is pretty strong versus the Weathervane build, but also the Weathervane build seems super complex. So if anybody so wants to try it out, probably play it like 24-7 between now and your pro quests, and uh, that might and he'll be help ready you to win go. with it. Don't play against opponents that have out muscle in their deck. And you yeah, that's true. Ask your opponent to take to sideboard that card out because you're running nine, uh, three Wounded Bulls, three Spirits, and uh, something else. Yep. Command and Conquer exactly. or something. But yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thanks everyone for watching. Like and subscribe and uh, check out other videos. We haven't released like a normal video in a while, but hopefully we will do another video soon. But we will always be streaming on Tuesdays at 7.30. And uh, so we'll see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.